Kia ora YouTubers, my name is Dan and this video here is one of the free ones that I give away as part of my larger course. So if you are keen and you do enjoy it, uh, check out there'll be a link in the description. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go off and look at the free stuff. Right, so let's go and create all the different bands. So let's go and create a band for the who we are. So I'm going to be on my main CSS. I want to make a selector called dot band and this one's going to be called who we are who we are. click enter i'm going to go through and pick a background color for it now i've got some colors ready to go if you want to copy me you can pick your own colors though if you want to on the files that we've downloaded on the desktop i've got my dw exercise files i'm going to open them up and i've got this one called colors and there's a bit of text in the colors folder okay and there's my hero color i'm going to use the who we are color so and um, remember to grab the whole thing, including the hash. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to jump into Dreamweaver. And in down here, I'm going to go to my background color, background color, click on this. And you'll notice I can just type it in down here. Or what I'm going to do is copy and paste it. Or you can just slide around and pick your own colors. Great. There's my background color. Now you notice it hasn't applied over here. Why not? Ah, you say you haven't applied that class. We've made the class. It exists, but we haven't actually applied it to this container fluid. So let's go U, call this one band, and this one's going to be called who we are. Lovely. Same thing in terms of the padding. Okay, now in terms of how much padding, I'm going to kind of just guess from my Photoshop document. I want a bit of padding that sort of size. Okay, so and we can always, it's good when you're throwing it in there, just to pick any size and you can go and finalize it later on. So I'm going to go up to padding. Yeah, there he is and I'll put I'm just going to keep it consistent and use 100 and 100 great all right next one is we're going to go and do this again for another container fluid so insert now I've got this one here called who we are so if I insert another container fluid I want it to be which one do I want it to be wrap nest after before I want it to be after okay so down if I scroll down a little bit there he is there there's my little container fluid so I'm going to go CSS designer and I'm going to get a main.css, who we are. I'm going to add uh, one called band and this one was called services. Great. And I'm going to give it a background color. I've got my background colors here. Don't forget the hash. Okay. And background color pop in him. And I'm going to go up to padding. I'm going to use 100, enter in here 100 you know notice i'm not typing in pixels it just if i hit return it assumes pixels okay and it's still not applied over here because i haven't done this okay band and we'll use the services great okay so we've got our purple and we're going to do the next ones now uh, that can get quite repetitive using that if you prefer to do it in code view that's totally fine the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our um, make sure you're on source code now you can keep doing it that way just so you know, but I'm going to show you this extra way that you could do if you prefer. Okay, so I'm going to go to code view and you can see here, it's pretty easy. I can, there's my opening and close. So I've got to make sure I grab all of that, copy it, paste, and I might call this one band, uh, what is this one? Portfolio, portfolio. So spelling is pretty, you've got to make sure you've spelled it right here when you do your class. And then we'll do the last one, which is going to be the footer. So you can see, even though ah, code view can be scary, it's actually sometimes a lot easier just to do things in code view. So um, I've got my uh, different ones here. If I go to live view, you'll notice I've got a whole bunch of bands down here. Okay. And um, I've got my, uh, was it portfolio? And I've got my footer. Now you'll notice though, they've got no styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from source code, which is your HTML over to my CSS. If I go to CSS, there's my band hero, who we are, services. It's the exact same principle applies. You just got to make sure that these names match up perfectly. So I've copied and pasted services and this one was called portfolio. Okay. And hopefully if you hit file, save all, you'll have this one here that is actually the exact same color. So there's two purple ones. So what I want to do is change this color portfolio to, where is he? This portfolio color. Great. So I've got portfolio there. So style the last one, which is the footer, copy him. And he is called footer. And I'm going to go find my footer color, copy. 
and paste. And you can turn it into a bit more of a production line by using code view. All right, so I'm gonna go back to live view and you can see I've got my hero box, I've got my who we are, my portfolio, my services and my footer. Great, and whether you prefer to do it in code view or whether you prefer to do it in design view, it's totally up to you. When I'm finished, file, save all, just to make sure everything is saved and we can move on to the next video. Hey there, remember this video is a free extract from my course of more than 60 videos. So if you're serious about learning Dreamweaver, check out the link and below. If you like this free thing, give it a like, give it a share. I'd be really appreciative. Thanks. Hi da da.